Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some massive news to share, and it's something that could change everything for Sean Ellington and his legendary Murder Nova crew. Right now, they're in a race against time, literally, dealing with a pretty serious issue just days before the No Prep Kings Elite Championship race in Alabama. And trust me, this could make or break their entire season. Now, I know we've all seen Sean push through challenges before, but this one? This one's huge. We're talking about a potential disaster under the hood that might stop them in their tracks. Let's get into the details and see what's really going on. So, picture this, just days ago, the Murder Nova team posted some pretty alarming photos on their official Facebook page. What did we see? Engine carnage. Two engine sleeves, crucial parts that keep the heart of the engine running, were seriously damaged. And by damaged, I mean one of them was completely destroyed. You could see that the block took a major hit. When I tell you this is a major problem, I mean it, because fixing that engine isn't just a quick tweak here or there. It's a serious repair job. For those of you who might not know, engine sleeves are like the bodyguards for your engine block. They're these tough, cylindrical linings that protect the block from the massive pressure generated by the pistons. Normally, if something like this happens, it's because the piston itself went haywire. But here's the twist, the pistons are perfectly fine. It's almost unheard of to see damage like this without something else going wrong first. It's rare, and honestly, it caught even the Murder Nova crew off guard. And here's the kicker, time is not on their side. With the Alabama race just around the corner, Sean and his team are up against the clock. They're working non-stop, burning the midnight oil to get the car back into race-ready condition. But this isn't just about replacing a few parts. We're talking about fixing the engine block and replacing those damaged sleeves. That's a huge job, especially when you're running out of time. And get this, they don't even have a spare engine block. Unlike some of the other bigger teams, Sean doesn't have a backup just sitting around. Sure, they've got spare heads, but the core of the engine? They're working with what they've got. The team has been trying to upgrade to the newer MH7 motor, but for this race, they've got to make the current engine work, and fast. Now, here's where things get really intense. Despite the engine disaster, Sean is still sitting in an incredible spot in the point standings. He's this close to the top, just five points behind the leader, Clay Cole. It's such a tight race, and even though Sean slipped from the number one spot, he's still right there, ready to pounce. Can you imagine the pressure? Sean's been grinding it out for seasons now, after struggling in seasons four and five, he's finally found his groove again in season six. He's earned his spot near the top, no question. He ended the regular season as the number one driver, and now it's all about getting the car ready to perform on one of the fastest tracks in the No Prep King circuit, Alabama. If they can pull off this repair in time, Sean could still be right in the hunt for the championship. And here's one of the things I love most about the Street Outlaws community, it's the way these racers have each other's backs. After the news broke about Sean's engine trouble, racers like Bobby Dakota stepped up and offered to lend Sean an engine. I mean, how cool is that? In a world where everyone is gunning for the same title, these racers still want to see each other succeed. But here's the thing, Sean's got his eyes set on winning this with his own setup. He's committed to getting his MH7 motor up and running. Sure, it's awesome to have support, but Sean and his crew want to win this race on their terms, with their gear, and you've got to respect that kind of dedication. So, can the Murder Nova crew pull off a miracle? It's going to be a wild weekend, that's for sure. But if there's anyone who can turn things around, it's Sean Ellington and his team. They faced setbacks before, and with just five points between them and the championship lead, you better believe they're going to give it everything they've got. This is where you come in, if you're a fan of Murder Nova and want to see them back on top, make sure to drop your support in the comments below. Let's get the word out, let's cheer them on, and maybe, just maybe, We'll see Sean clinch that No Prep Kings Elite Championship after all. Stay tuned for more updates, and as always, thanks for watching.